YouTube. Wow, we're trying to find a thermal. Not having much luck so far. There's this little line of clouds here. We'll try that. It looks good further north, so that's the goal is to get up north today. But what are we, 1400 feet? We need to find our first climb first. We might need to crank up the engine again soon. Problem is, I don't know where I'd go with the engine. Everything looks about the same. That's what we wanted. Just a steady climb all the way around would be nice. Doesn't need to be strong at this point. Charlie, November Charlie, I did find a climb over by Walton. It's only two knots, but it's better than nothing. Oh, there we go. That's better. Well, that was a lovely thermal. Thermal average, 2.3 knots. So not super strong, but on a weak winter's day, that's good. Now I can actually go somewhere trek up north and try all those clouds up there. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm going to head south. There's a convergence line there at the moment. It's been there all morning, so I'm going to go try that first and then run up north after that and we'll see how far we can get. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's... That's not bad. nice climb here on the edge of the convergence as you can see we've got higher clouds on the left moister air on the right lower clouds and by flying in this um, left hand side here we'll uh, maintain good lift along here hopefully you can see this little puff appearing in front of us it doesn't extend too far to the south here but we'll whiz along here and then we'll see how far we can go up north using the same convergence. So I don't know if you can see, but out here we've got Mount Rupehu and Narahoe. White covered in snow and the, on the horizon there. Out to our left here we've got Rotorua and behind that is Mount Tarawera with a nice, um, nice uh, volcano that can erupt. And all of this is, I think it's called the Mamakus. So you drive through the Mamakus to get to Rotorua and uh, there's a lot of forestry and things. There are, there are some good paddocks in here where you can land at because it's quite, um, quite gully, hilly terrain so there's no way you have to choose your paddocks carefully but there are quite a few where you can see all the grassland there. Further to the south here is Tokoroa, home of Tokoroa Airfield. And that's where uh, YouTube star XJet flies from with his model aircraft. So if you want to see what Tokoro is like, just down there, have a look at his channel. Alright, so I'm right on there. Coming to the end of the convergence here. We'll just climb up under this little cloud, or we'll turn around under that. And then we'll whiz up the other way and see what we can do. You can see the clouds are higher out here, so I'm actually should be over there, I suspect. But this will be alright. For now, where there's cloud, there will be lift. There it goes. Okay, I've started my run north, so we'll try these clouds out here. Hopefully we're just inside the airspace there. And then uh, we'll run all the way out as far north as we can possibly go.
Emergence. There's another one here on Tierra, which is commonly there. So what I'm going to do is try and get into this cloud here, then jump over to Tierra. There is a bit of a convergence to the right of Tierra as well, but I'm not quite sure if I can get into that. Or what side, if I, how high I need to be or what. I'm down to 3,000 feet or just under, so it's quite easy now to get below useful working height. But this looks pretty uh, reliable, this upcoming cloud. And then we'll be able to jump over to that dark stuff and see if we can get up to Thames or something. Alright, better find a climb here, otherwise, don't know what we're gonna do. I think we'll be able to get over to Tierra no matter what. But if we can climb here, it'll make life easier for ourselves. Meh. Not much there. Okay, let's get into this big line here. It looks way better. I'm only going to be 2,000 feet by the time I get there. Which is not ideal. Alright, so we're coming into these clouds here. I have a funny feeling I need to be on the other side to get into it. If it's anything like the rest of the uh, clouds on top of the hills here, you have to be... It's coming up from the other side. So, I'm slightly disappointed. There's not a convergence running up further north. So what I might do is head over towards Auckland instead. Alright, so now's about time I want to find a good climb. Oh, that feels good. I smell smoke. Let's just do a little climb here. explore a little bit here. I feel like there's something here. Okay. Heat coming off the town maybe. Oh not enough. Okay let's continue. I'll just run along here a little bit further. Oh yeah that feels better. <laughs> That doesn't feel promising at all. Yeah, let's try a little bit further along here. Otherwise, we can go left and try the street. But well, maybe more in the sun. I can see a fire down here on my left feeding into the street, so. Uh oh, this does not feel good at all. And it doesn't look very good either. Looks like something just here, but... Oh yeah, I'll see if this is steady. Dude, too small, I think. So you can see this line here, there should be something underneath that, but I probably need to go more into the valley. It'll be a convergence line. Oh, that feels good. Let's tighten it up there. It's a narrow one, let's get tight. If we get a bit higher, they often get easier. Maybe I'll try landing flat thermal. There we go, that feels great. Nice small little circle. I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but it's quite nice. You can uh, monitor and see if uh, your circles are too big. Brilliant. Okay, so what's happening? 
we've got this convergence line here so I'm going to run along that and see how far we can go it's the time, it's 2.30 so it's still winter uh, which means we've got a bit of time but not a huge amount once the sun uh, loses energy all these convergences will uh, die out pretty quick haven't hit much yet there's quite a few different lines of convergence actually so or streets maybe oh there's 16 knots of wind now apparently or five according to that one here we go so i'm expecting to get something in under these things we will see what happens it's hard to this one doesn't look very promising the next ones do down to two and a half thousand feet really want to get up to cloud base and stay there but don't we always want to do that this line up ahead looks pretty good something must be working under there I haven't hit much yet we probably see there's no clouds out to the right here so I'm assuming there's some sort of breeze coming over here's the swamp Um, interesting uh, thing it generally in summer it generates a lot of good thermals for us it's quite dark and all the plants uh, transpire At about 11 o'clock in the morning apparently they open up and transpire and uh, that releases a lot of latent heat apparently this is definitely some sort of convergence. You can see lower clouds there and a higher bit out to the right. A bit of a shelf. The sun's been on this all day, so there should be some heat coming off it. Here we go. Let's just do a few turns here and climb if we can. That feels very good. Don't stall. Oh yeah, looking back where we came from, no wonder it's, the convergence moved, so it's no longer this line, it's back further. Oh, lost it again. I think we'll just keep going. We've got a bit of safety altitude, it gets easier and easier the higher you get. I think as we go along here, we'll climb anyway, you can feel it lumping us around. Go. Oh, lovely. That was good. Nearly back to 3,000 feet. I bet this one over here will be working well. Ah, that wasn't as good as I thought. I'm kind of wishing I'd stopped and climbed back further. This is kind of disintegrating, I think. Surely we'll get something here. see this one going up and curling over that way so here we go all right well I'll climb here and uh, we'll catch up then I need to decide am I going to continue or start heading back. It's three o'clock. Might have to go a little further. Let's see what happens. I feel like we head into the hills here a little bit. They look pretty good. Okay, I think I've come to the end of the road for today's flight. I'm going to head back to Manamana now. I feel like there's a little bit of a convergence line trying to form up along here. I had pretty good buoyant lift all the way along here, especially under the little clouds. And what's happening is there's sea breeze or breeze coming from the left here, colliding with the CMS and it's not very strong, not very well defined, just enough to make it buoyant. So I'm going to try and trek back along here, get into this good convergence that you can see further ahead to get home. 
I'm uh, nearly 3,000 feet under glide, so I need something to get me home. It's now three o'clock. The sun's getting pretty low already, so I'm gonna... It's about time to head back. In summer, of course, you'd be able to keep going for a lot longer, but... This is winter. This is where it's good to have the 18 meter wingtips. I don't know what my glide ratio is, but it's pretty good. Oh, there we go. My current uh, glide ratio is 77, 80 to 1. So there's no way this glider could do that unless it's being helped by something. very small oh that feels better okay we'll stay here one more round it's improving all right let's do a time lapse to get home not much to talk about really other than I'll stop and climb under these clouds on the way home I can see by the shadow that this side of Waitoa I need at least 2,000 feet to glide from Waitoa to home. So my computer says 1,600 feet from needed. Ah, oh. oh, that's because I've got a Macready of four. So my other computer here says I'm under 400 feet, but that's got no Macready set or Macready of one. So we'll go along here, climb as we head in the general direction of home, head under these clouds, with a bit of luck we won't even need to stop. I'm over Waitoa wishing I was about 700 feet higher. What are you at now? 2,000. Think I can get back, just. Oh, you've got one of those noisy things on the back. A whirly bird. Yeah, it'd be nice not to use it, though. Last climb. Alright, that's enough to get home I think. We'll uh, head over to this little cloud. That looks cute. It's on the way. Slight deviation, not too bad. We'll go underneath this one, then that one, and then home. New plan, we're going to head over to this uh, line of cloud and then trek along there again and maybe join up with where we uh, started at the beginning. And that convergence, so why not, eh? Make a triangle. Alright, well we made it to the convergence. Just cruising along here now. If we get a really good bit, I'll stop and climb. Okay, well I'm approaching this uh, convergence line here. I'm getting a bit low, 2,300 2, feet, so I didn't it's a lot easier to get into the convergences when you're higher. Hmm, so we'll see what happens again. Okay, I'm punching forward. I'm trying to get into the convergence, but I'm not sure I'm high enough. I need to be Previously, we were on the other side of the hills here. And I'm gonna be, I might be high enough, maybe. There's clouds forming here. We'll just trick along here. That's what it looks like on the other side. Right, Let's see if we can get it here. All these wisps above us indicate that's where it is.
Hmm. Can we get something here or not? I'm not quite convinced we can. A bit of scamper back to the airfield, surely. All right, let's head back to the airfield. Underneath all this should be good lift anyway. I might get something on the way if I'm lucky. Being thrown around a bit. There's a glider climbing just in front of me. Uniform Lima, a duo. All right, I'm back down, climbing through two eight. Got a bit low in the convergence, trying to get into it. A bit higher would be good. Oh, not quite enough to turn in. Oh, I wish I was a bit higher. Make life way easier. Anyway, I might whiz down to this one and then run along it and then back again. And then that will be uh, the end of my day. All right, surely I'm going to get something under here. Okay, I think it's time to head back to the airfield. We're going to go through all that nice uh, buoyant air we just went through. To get home. And we're just under glide, so it'll be an easy ride home, I think. Look at that line there. That's a pretty good day. We managed to um, sort of make the most of the day. I wasn't really expecting to have a flight today. I was almost going to leave it because we had a nice flight yesterday, but I'm glad we did because the convergences were interesting. The thermals were weak, but combined with the convergences, pretty good. All right, it's time lapse at home.